hello dear welcome to the forex trade one so today we are uh, going to study this how this indicators or uh, triangle we are applying into the live trading and this account we started on 2022 on 11 and currently within a 20 days uh, the account has given a profit of 28000 dollars so all the trades and all the analysis we have just amplified by using these indicators of the triangle and this is the statement of the same account so you can see here that 98 trade has been placed in all the 28 pairs and uh, see the total accuracy we maintain only 43 percent but see the our profit trades compared to the loss trades so we are maintaining more than one gem two reward strategy so the risk is more than uh, reward is more than the risk around three times nearly so if you are following this pattern you can able to get a very good amount of uh, profit in a long run so all the trades can verify here and uh, yes this statement will be available at the end of the video can check into the YouTube's and yes now we are going to place the live trades so how we are going to place the trades and how this lot size been selected so we selected this lot size as per the 100k so like USD CAD if I want to trade one uh, one lot then the capital will be up used the one hundred K US dollar so same like if I want to trade NGD CAD I need to trade 1.4 lot to block the 100k capital and if you are trading with the 500 uh, margin then you are required If you have a 200 dollar you can trade with this uh, I, uh, all the lot size so if are suppose if you are trading the 28 pairs with this we require 5600 margin but yes definitely the account has the 100k capital so it is uh, quite uh, safe trading with this only we are using the 5% margin of the capital see the capital and uh, currently it has uh, given a profit of 28,000 USD and currently there are no trades are open so we are going to open a trades as per this triangle pattern so see now ODCAD in H4 time frame now it is giving the buy signals so see the sell signal has given a very good profit so now we will place the buy orders in ODCAD and yes ODCAD what are the load size here 1.386 so we will place the one 1.38 and we place the buy okay yes the order has been placed we check the ODCHF see now it is coming into the sell zone but it's not so high so we will start to sell here in ODCHF again and, uh, yes we will trade ODCHF 1.38 same load size and we will trade the sell and uh, yes the order has been placed here see the sell orders now odjpy odjpy is not in the buy zone and not into the sell zone so we will wait currently what to do in this uh, pairs we will not place any trades in this odnzd again there are no any indication no any pairs here the sell call has given a good profit and buy call is giving the tremendous good profit also so we will not place anything odusd again it is in the middle of the buy and sell so we will wait for that CAD CHF yes definitely there is a good chance to sell now because it is into the sell zone and uh, we will place the CAD CHF the lot size uh, we, we can check here 1.25 and we will place the sell yes now you see the CAD JPY CAD JPY we will wait because it is not into the selling zone at all and uh, we can place the sell limit order at 91.4 near so we will just put a limit order for CAD JPY and we'll see the CAD JPY is 1.24 lot size we'll put uh, 1.24 and it will be the pending order and the sell limit will be 
91.4 and yes uh, we will place the so limit order has been placed chf jpy we will wait for the trades to be executed and sale order we will generate at 125.1 near again we will place the pending order for that and chf jpy we will see the load size here yeah 0 0.912 0 0.91 and it will be the pending order and the price will be 125.1 and it will be the sell limit and we will place uh, the 0.91 order yes so it will be the place as a sell limit euro od we will wait again as it is not into the buying zone as well as it is not into the selling zone so we'll wait for and uh, we will place the sell limit on 1.6 near so better we will keep the uh, limit order for the trade so uh, euro od the point eight seven lot size and it will be the pending order and uh, your sell limit and one point six near the sell limit has been placed but we will change little bit on this side so this we can edit it from directly mt4 and yes it has been done so very simple trading you can ask us and you can take the trades you can ask our executive how to buy purchase this indicator and uh, it will be guiding you directly and these are the two indicators we have applied one is the 20 and 1 8 pairs and one is uh, triangle pattern so now the euro CAD it is into the buy position as uh, we can see now that it is already into the zone of the buy and fall down below then so we will put a buy limit for this pair euro cad 0.87 and uh, yes we will buy directly euro chf we will not place any trades either it is not in a buying zone or not into the selling zone also so yes we will wait for that euro gbp again we will wait for the trades for the euro jpy we can take the buy position because it is into the buying zone so we will start to place the buy for the euro jpy and yes 0.87 and uh, we will place the buy for this trade and euro ngd it is not into the any zone currently yes but selling we can say we can put here as the, uh, the already this john already touch into the sell and it has given a good profit and then again it rise to this zone so i think this will be the pretty sure we can sell from this market so we will wait a little bit more to be rise or we can put a sell limit for 1.6 1.70 near and the load size for that 0.87 again and pending order sell limit 0.699 place the sell order S yes so it has been again we'll just place little bit high yes okay done now euro usd Yes, definitely it is into the buy zone we will place the buy order and euro usd the load size will be 0 0.87 again see the load size here euro usd 0 0.87 near we'll place the buy
yes now the gbpod and uh, yes uh, it is now currently into the sale zone we will place the sale order for that pair and gbpod will be the lot size will be 0.73 and it will be on a sale yes it is done gpp cad also now into the sale zone but it is uh, already break below one point but we will place the sale order with this pair also that is the gpp cad and uh, the lot size will be the same 0.73 place the sale order GBPCHF we will not do anything as it is not into the buy zone or not into the sale zone this also we will avoid, avoid currently GBPUSD also we will avoid then GBPJPY again we will avoid NGDCHF we will avoid NGDCAD we will avoid NGDJPY yes uh, this is the buy call as now already two buying zone are there one selling zone has been completed so we can start here the buy call in ngd jpy 1.46 will be the lot size and we'll place the buy order for that usd chf uh, it will be in a sale zone but we will wait for that either not a buy or neither in a sale zone and yes uh, usd jpy again into the sale zone we will place the sale for that and the load size will be the one and yes sell by market ngd we will take the buy order as it has a breach those buying order so very good opportunity so we'll take the buy position in NGD USD and the load size uh, will be 1.4 and USD CAD uh, not into the buy zone or not into the sell zone we will wait for that to take so currently we executed this many trades and soon we will update uh, the next profit and loss for the same account God willing